Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a project that I thought I'd bring you guys along for. Now this is something I've been wanting to do for a while to my van. For those of you who are new, I drive a 2020 NV200. It takes me on all of my outdoor adventures across the United States. In doing so, I've put about 32,000 miles so far on, on this tiny little van. And we've had some great adventures, but along the way, I have noticed there are a couple of things that need a little bit of tweaking. Amongst those, my headlights. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's turn on the van and we'll go outside. But before we do, let's turn on our lights. That's good right there. So this is just a dim setting on my lights. And I think you'll see what I'm talking about really quickly. Okay, do you notice anything? Do you notice anything? These are very much so like a yellow tinted light. And because of that, my pattern for being able to see out in front is, is not the best. So sometimes whenever I am driving at night, I have kind of limited visibility as a result of these not getting very bright. Now I've noticed it the whole time, but it became extremely apparent to me whenever I did the Christmas parade last year. If you didn't see that video, go check it out. It was super fun. I decorated my entire van for a Christmas parade and it was so cool. But I noticed that I had used LED lights on the van itself and whenever my lights were peeking through, they were that really yellowy color, which just looked kind of off. And so I decided at that point that I would start exploring options for changing out these bad boys right here. And so again, looking at the front, these lights right here, the actual cases for the lights are fine. Those are good, but they have a bulb that can be changed out that you can put in a different kind. And I want to use an LED. Now, something that's very different about LED lights than the standard lights that come with my van is the coloration itself. It's going to be like a white, like a true white. So when it projects out this beam into the universe, we're going to be able to see a lot more clearly and more crisp images and so i think that's going to be super helpful especially considering that i'm going to be spending a lot more time on some dark narrow roads in the middle of the forest and the mountains on some of those winding roads now a lot of times because of my current situation i do not like do not like to drive that much at night because my visibility even on my high beams is is much more narrow than i would like it to be so i went on google Google, of course, led me to Amazon. Amazon led me to an order, and well, now we're here. Okay, guys, one more thing for the van. This is something I've been wanting to change out for a while, so now we just have to wait. They're here! I'm super excited about this project. Now this is going to be one that I'm going to tackle after doing a little bit of research. I'm going to be looking at some different videos on YouTube to see how mechanics actually do this and make sure that it is something that I personally feel like I can. Now I will say this, I researched it a little bit before uh, ordering these guys. So I did know that I needed the H13 lights for the van and also these are LEDs that have tons of good ratings. Now these can be used in a variety of different vehicles, not just the NV200. So if you are interested in upgrading your headlights, we're going to see what we think of these as a whole. These are the torch beam LED lights. Now we need to see what's inside here while the van is cooling off though, because we're not trying to touch the little parts while they're hot. Okay, so let's open up the box and see what is inside. Again, this is just a tiny little box, but it does have two headlights in it. So this box is nice because it just pulls up and instantly I'm dropping things. This is an interesting sign of how my channel usually goes. Uh, BRB. So what fell? Uh, this guy. Yeah, we need this. Uh, this not only has like the uh, instruction manual, which first timer, definitely need this, but it also has some little tiny zip ties and what look to be foam securing pads. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna take care of this because we're gonna need it. Also, as I am working on this, you're likely to hear lots of vehicles going up and down this road behind us. Sorry guys, that's the reality of van life. Sometimes the sound is not perfect because you know, traffic. <laughs> 
<laughs> but let's see what else is inside the box. Looky, looky guys, these are the actual lights. So let's get these out a little bit closer and look at them very carefully so we can kind of figure out what kind of uh, job we're gonna have ahead of us. Okay, so again, this is our box with our two headlights. And these are kind of interesting because they're red. <laughs> so I don't know how that's gonna look in the van itself. But it looks as though we can pull out this and you'll notice that there is like a receiver end and then also the light itself. So I think what we do based on what I kind of looked up is there will be a little thing that's like this already in there that will pop in and then we will just put this into the hole and maybe twist it so that it will stay tight. I'm not sure though. We're going to read our instructions and make sure. But yeah, this is all of the uh, headlight right there. And again, this is the H13. So it has the bulbs right here and then also right here. This is supposed to be a two setting light. So we should be able to do both bright and dim on this. So let's see what else we have in here also because it looks like under here there is something else hiding out. And for the time being, just to make sure that nothing happens, we're just gonna secure that right there. <laughs> it does look like they have included some gloves in here. So we will be using these whenever we install these to make sure that we don't get our fingerprints all over it and then dull it out. And also to protect our hands from any kind of like craziness that might be under the hood. Okay, our handy dandy little book now, I have it out and you know, there's actually a YouTube channel also, so we might check into their individual YouTube channel at Torchbeam. But it says here how we're supposed to test the lights, our pre-installation advisory, and then also what parts are included and the process. So overall, this is the step that's gonna be the big one for us. And it does look like I was correct. We're gonna put it in and it looks like it slightly twists just a little bit. So, okay, I like that they have visuals for this because one of the things that I have learned through a variety of different projects on the van is typically if there are just written instructions there's a lot more room for interpretation and with the photos it just flat out tells you hey this is how you do it so I'm going to use this definitely but I am going to go and watch a couple videos real quick and then get right back to you guys. Okay so I watched a couple of videos and in doing so there were some conflicting pieces of information, but I, I think I know why. In the first video, they just snapped it right in place. Everything was good. It was cool. In the second video, the guy said, hey, you might need some pliers for this. And the reason why he said that was because the wiring harness needed to be pried out just a little bit to remove it. So I'm gonna try this without any tools first because the first video said it can happen. Now, if I do need something, I have a toolkit in the back, we'll pop it out, no big deal. But first we need to uh, open, open this. Yeah, let, let me go pop this. Okay, and right here, Ooh, that's a good popping noise. Okay, now you must remember where it is. Oh, oh, okay, we can do this. First and foremost, let's put on the gloves. Yeah, these are just regular cotton gloves. But surprisingly, they, they fit so nicely. Oh, oh, this is nice. I was thinking these were gonna be way too big for my hands because typically gloves are, but these work. Okay, so right here is where that light actually is. It's like right, right here beyond the frame. It still feels a tiny bit warm from turning it on while ago, but it's not bad. I'm gonna try to get you guys a better view of it. Okay, do you see this right here? This is the actual light that we're gonna be removing. And so I need to go and find out how we're gonna remove it and then how we'll put the new one in. So, but this is it. This is it right here. That's the wiring harness. So I think whenever we're going in this, we'll be able to twist, but I'm gonna make sure just so I don't break anything. Okay guys, so sure enough, I was able to twist it and then this is the bulb right here that we're gonna be taking out. Now this does look a little bit different because it's a different kind of bulb. So we're going to have to remove it from the wiring harness now. Now this is where it gets tricky because 
this is where the other guy said we might need to pry this out <laughs> it comes into this in a very interesting way and it's like a little puzzle piece that fits directly inside of it so i'm trying to figure out how to get it to release Ugh. Ugh. okay there it is i got it off and uh the second guy was right i i did need tools for this one uh it was just stuck in there and this little clip wouldn't release so i had to use the tools to kind of push it down just enough so that the light could actually come out so now we just have the wiring harness right here left and this is where the new bulbs come in okay so now it's time to connect this end to the green connector that's down here and then we'll put this inside the hole for the light itself so maybe this will go more smoothly so i just need to line up the locking end to the locking end and then it pushes into place maybe perhaps maybe not let's see there it goes okay so we have that in and then we're going to put this into the little hole right here okay also this was supposed to have come off because this was on the original light so what i did was i went ahead and removed it and then i was able to put the bulb directly in and then turn it righty tighty lefty loosey now something to note whenever i was putting it in it does have these little grooves so you have to line them up with the actual area in your light assembly so whenever you get them aligned it'll twist into place and that's what actually holds it into place so that was a huge step to figure out in the weird invertedness of installing this but now that we have one of them fully installed let's turn on the van to see if it works. That's gonna be the big thing, making sure it works before we work on the second one. Now I followed the instructions, I pulled out all the necessary things, I reinserted everything correctly, I hope, but I'm gonna turn on the van and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the original one. You can see it kind of has like an orange glow to it. And this is the new one, which you can see has a lot more of a whitish tone to it. So yes, we are definitely accomplishing what we want with this. Now, of course, when it gets a little darker, I'll show you the bright white of the lights so you can see it a little bit better. But a few reasons that you might be interested in LED other than just the sight line that they allow you. They also run a bit cooler, which means that have you ever seen one of those older vehicles where they get kind of that weird fogginess to the headlamp area? That happens because of the heat and then the moisture and things like that kind of all working together in a perfect storm. So this is actually going to keep my lights looking newer, longer by doing this also. So let's get on to the next one. Well guys, like most projects, the first one's always the hardest. The second one took me like two minutes. That was way easier. So now is the grand reveal. I'm gonna turn on the van one last time and just make sure that everything turns on and is connected. And if it is, then all we have to do is put together all of the loose ends and make sure they're tucked away so they're not in the cavity of the engine and we'll use those little zip ties for that so this was a super fun easy project i think and oh my goodness it's gonna make such a difference oh yeah oh yeah they're both working both of them are installed this is awesome i'm so happy i did this i'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the little wires and make sure that they're not in the way and then i'll show you guys what these look like at nighttime. now again you've probably seen many of my videos where i've been driving through the wilderness in the night with very limited sight so i'm really excited to see how far down the road i'll be able to see with these 
Some days you just want to work on a project and bring some more value to your travel vehicle and that was today for me. I have been wanting to do this project since December and finally I just got it complete. It took me a while to research it. I really wanted to make sure I was doing this the right way so that it would have longevity and it wouldn't just be a throwaway project that would end up putting me in kind of some headache down the road. And I'm super happy that I did take the time because by doing that I knew which part that I needed for my particular van, what outcome I was looking for, and what would kind of move me in the direction of that the best. But also, I kind of knew what I was getting myself into when I took on the project because I had researched it so much. But now I think you guys can see that we are not limited by our desires, but instead by the amount of effort we're willing to put into something. If you want to change something, you can do it. You can do anything you want to do and don't let anybody tell you can't. A few years ago, the concept of me changing my headlights would have been foreign entirely. I would have been like, <laughs> okay, sure. But instead, now I allow myself to not be limited by myself. And I believe in myself and I do projects like this pretty frequently. Now, sometimes there's a little bit of a learning curve and that's okay. In that learning curve, we learn about ourselves as well. So I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me for changing out my headlights. If you're interested in this project, I hope you know that you can do it too because if I can you can trust me on this and uh, if you have enjoyed today's video make sure that you leave a thumbs up hit subscribe if you like van content I have a whole van life playlist and remember guys we're not here for a long time but we're here for a good time and creating our adventure space in our own personalized little adventure rig is how you get to that good time till next time guys bye Okay, let's look at this again. Here is regular and bright. So you can see just beyond this ridge here. So regular, nice pattern in front of us, much further out than the old lights. Woo, we can see all the way down to this tree now. That is way better.